All right, so the footage you guys just saw, I was at the Florida State University gym. Got there at like 4.20, and then at 4.30 they say, the gym closes in 30 minutes. So, you know, my previous video I said, you know, get prepared, look at when the gyms close. Obviously, I can't even take my own advice, but, you know, I, I assumed a university gym would be open, you know, later than 5 p.m. on a Friday. So I squeezed in 80% of my workout within 30 minutes. Obviously, wasn't able to hit my numbers as I would have hoped to. But now we're back at my sister's apartment. They have just some cardio equipment, a pull down, and some dumbbells. So I'm gonna try to finish it up, you know, do what I can. I think all I have left is triceps, maybe some pec flies, and then like 15 minutes of cardio. Obviously didn't film a lot at the uh, FSU gym. It was super packed, plus I only had 30 minutes, so I was you know, hurrying as much as I could. And they wouldn't even let me keep my gym bag with me, so I assumed if I can't even have my gym bag with me, then filming is probably gonna be a no-go, but I got a couple clips. You've seen me on the bench press just slipping and sliding. I felt like I was bench pressing on you know, a sheet of ice. It was ridiculous. And the bars weren't even regulation. The markings were all off, but Try to do the best I can. I actually hit all my numbers for bench press, although it was a lot more difficult than it should have been. So as you guys can see, I'm wearing the uh, Ever Forward shirt I got from Max Tuning. Now the funny thing is, this actually isn't the one that I ordered. I ordered a different one, but he sent me this. And, you know, I like, I like this design, so I figured, you know, I'll just keep this. I'll save us both the hassle of having to, you know, send it back and, you know, go through the whole returns process. But, you know, I needed new gym clothes, and I figured I can either give my money to these big chains like Under Armour and Nike, or can help support you know somebody who's been giving me free content for you know the past couple years. I've been given on the pec flies is to try and touch your bicep to your pec. That way you're keeping your shoulders back and in a safe position, but you're really able to you know focus on the chest contraction. of my life. There was the bad gym equipment at FSU, the fact that I only had 30 minutes, had like 30 minute layover between that gym and this gym, and only got like about three hours of sleep last night. My dad, I had to share a hotel room with my family obviously, but my dad was snoring so 
loud. The last point I looked at the clock was three o'clock in the morning. And it took me, I don't know how long to fall asleep, but we actually got up at 5 a.m. to start traveling again. I did sleep on and off in the car, but then we traveled for 12 hours, so all that combined, pretty terrible, you know, workout environment, but you know, we're still doing what we can. off the workout with 15 minutes of cardio now let me know if you guys like this style of video where I'm actually talking to you you know during the workout obviously I can't do it all the time because I do go to a relatively crowded gym and as you can see I got this little apartment gym to myself but there may be more clips after this I really don't know what we're doing later so if I don't see you again thanks for watching after the workout, I went to a place I'd never heard of before because they don't have any anywhere close to where I live called Muscle Maker Grill. It's a, you know, dedicated like fitness restaurant. Everything is super macro friendly. They even offer like meal plans for people in the area. But it was very good. I would say way better than Chipotle. And if they had them in my area, I would probably go there every single day.